Welcome back everybody, Zed here at Imperium Games. I'm going to be doing a little video that I've wanted to do for some time already. Uh, over the course of the past videos, a few people have noticed that right ahead here, underneath uh, on the back of my wall, I've got a black lotus, and I think I popped it out in one of the videos before. I want to talk about this a little bit because uh, we've seen other videos popping around uh, you know, on, on YouTube uh, in the past couple of years, but I haven't seen one in some time. And these are some cards that I received a couple of years back. There was a time when there were uh, a lot of proxies going around, and there probably still is. And um, so a lot of people have pointed out that, you know, I've got these black lotuses sitting on my desk. Now, I'm going to go through these just for the fun of it. It's always nice to see a proxy video because what really freaks me out the most is that, you know, cards are cards, paper is paper, right? In the end, look at that five time walks. In the end, <clears throat> whether it's this card, this piece of paper, or that piece of paper, you know, I can take an original card over here, but just because it was printed by Watsy, this card might be worth, I don't know, $10,000. This one is printed by somebody else, it's worth nothing. The truth of it is, it's all paper, right? So I'm gonna go through this for the fun of it because it's very, very interesting to sit here with literally hundreds of thousands of dollars of cards and they're not worth anything. I mean, literally not worth it. I think that you're allowed to play with proxies though. Um, so these cards were given to me oh, a couple of years ago, easily. I think that these were called version five or version six of, of some some uh, some place that prints these in uh, in Asia somewhere. Oh, another black lotus back here. Um, and it's just, you know, the, I think I've got five of each. They were sent to me. There were several boxes at the time that I received um, of, 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 uh, of proxies. And some of them were white border, some of them are black border. And just for the fun of it, I wanted to show you what the difference is between an actual card and, uh, and, and one of these proxies. So look, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna tear through one of these cards, okay? So I'll just take this one here. This is an awful card. You can see by the quality, there's no doubting that there, this is not a real magic card. It's very simple. You can look up really close here. Let me see how close I can bring it to the camera here. You know, you can see that the, the coloring is off, you know, and look how shiny this card is. You know, magic cards are not this shiny. I'm gonna take, uh, I've got some extra cards right next to me here. You know, look at the difference between the, 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 the shininess. Look at the color differences between the two. This is my proxy over here. You know, it doesn't so show much, I suppose, on camera. They both look pretty shiny, but in real, this card is nowhere close to being as shiny as this one is. The thickness is not the same. This one feels more flimsy, you know. Um, and if you look real close up here, let me see if I can bring that up here. You can see the way that the, the, the text is, it's been reprinted. You know, uh, they probably downloaded these images offline, uh, online rather, and, uh, you know, and tried to clean them up and print them. And it's just nowhere close to being a real card, but there's more to it. You know, there's the light testing and the core testing and all of that. So what I want to start by doing is I don't own <clears throat> any of the Power 9. I don't own any of these. So it's very unfortunate, but I don't. So what I do own, though, is I have these two. These came with it. You know, these are not the only cards. It, was, it wasn't only Power 9 cards that came with these. It was a whole slew. You know, if I grab my box over here, <clears throat> I've got a whole slew. You know, the Tabernacle, Bazaar of Baghdad, uh, Mishra's Workshop, uh, Gay's Cradle, Time Vault, Mox Diamond. I'm going to pull this out because this, this is an amazing proxy, Maze of If. Uh, there's, just, there's just so many different proxies in here. And I'm going to look, I do have some Mox Diamonds. I think I own two of them. Um, the, 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 it's the same thing though. I mean, the, the, what's really is amazing is that when you look at it in, in this shield here, in this cheap sleeve, it really looks like a, 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 an authentic card. I'm going to grab another one here, more of a sort of an official sleeve there. There's no way just looking at it like this, that you can tell that this is not a real card. It's absolutely spectacular. But once you pull it out, it's the same thing. You know, it's very, it's very, 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 very shiny. Let me grab another card here. This is one of the cards from um, Modern Horizon. And you can see the, the glare on this is, is matted down, whereas on here it is super, super shiny. You know, that's, that is one of the primary differences. Besides the fact that you can feel the card is a little bit thinner, once you have it in a sleeve, you can't tell the difference. You know, it's very, very hard to tell the difference, especially if the sleeve is shiny like this one is. I'm not saying if it has a matte finish. 
So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I have these two moats here. Actually, before I start with moat, let me just uh, clean up my table here for a second. Bring these up over here. So right up, you can tell that there is a slight difference between these two cards. Now, both of these are proxies. And I suspect that one of them is probably like a version 5 and one of them might be a version, a version 6. It is even more apparent here. Look at the difference between these two. This one is, looks absolutely horrendous. You know, the, the, the print is yellow on it. But take it out of the sleeves. It doesn't really need to be sleeved. You can see that the one on the, on, in my, on the right side is yellowish and the one on the left side is sort of a grayish, bluish color. I'm going to go through. I've got my got my originals over here. I think I have, maybe it's in this box here. Don't I have a, yeah, here we are. So I have a library of Alexandria here, and this is a real one. And I'm gonna pull it out of its sleeve. Now, clearly the difference between these two is very, very obvious. This is a yellowish hue, the print, on the, on the image is a little more, uh, um, how do you say, a little more hazy. You know, the text, sort of the same thing. The text isn't too bad, but the color is really, really, really way off. Anything that can be read, like uh, redrawn, like not redrawn, but you can actually use this, the same font. I don't know if you know how Illustrator works, but this was probably done in Illustrator. So you use Illustrator and Photoshop. You've got the photos, you've got the images in Photoshop, and then in Illustrator, you bring in what's called the, uh, uh, um, vector text and vector text will all text will always be super super clear when you print it so but look at the difference between these two it starts to get a little harder to make the difference it's still obvious the one on the left bring this up to the camera here the one on the left is still you know a nicer print a nice a nicer uh, a truer color the, the 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 picture itself is is not as uh how do you say as as hazy as it is on the right but unless you're putting this third one in play here, you can really start to wonder which one is the real one. That's why I'm not taking it out. I mean, I, I can tell again by the shininess, so I wouldn't be afraid to take it out. In fact, look, I'll do that. I'll sort of just mix them in. Um, I'm, I'm mixing them all around, you know? Besides the fact that my version is damaged a little bit at the top here, so it's got light play on it, there's no way you cannot tell, especially on the back, that these two are the proxies and this is the original. You know, look at the proxy, look at this one. You can actually see some of the print lines on this one. You know, and it, the, 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 the paper is way more shoddy than it is here. This is a much better quality. So I'm gonna put this back. And we could sort of do the same thing with moat. I think I have moat, I have a moat in here. Just looking at this before, here it is. So, the mode is the same thing. The colors are a little bit less, um, I would say, off here. Okay, so the one in the center, I don't know if it comes out well on camera. The one in the center really is grayish. You know, the print is really, really grayish. It, it's as if the house, the image of the house is a little bit better of the castle at the back there. But when you take this, look at this, look at these two. I mean, oh my God, it is virtually impossible to tell the difference between the two. That is how good this proxy is. So... Thing is, again, I can take this one out of its out of its pack out of its uh, plastic its shield here. I would not hesitate to shuffle it. Oh my god, <laughs> I would nearly hesitate to shuffle it. The 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 difference in the cardboard. Ah, oh, you can tell that this one is the proxy. It is shinier and a little slicker. So would I hesitate this in this case to shuffle it up? I obviously I'll still be able to find the difference between the two. Oh my god. Look, if I shuffle it, do you know which one is which at this point? You know? The, 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 um, how do you say, the, the varnish on this one here is a little shinier, but oh my God, not a lot. It's really, really, really getting close. So this is my original, this is the proxy. So I'll put that one down. And what we'll do is, so in the course of all of this, I actually received this tin can over here and it's got vintage 8.0 on it. 
So I haven't gone through them yet, but I, I received this again through the mail. And Vintage 8.0, I don't know where they come from. I haven't had a chance to go through this, but you see what, 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 what I'm, I, I get? It's a full deck of cards. You know, there's probably, I don't know, 50 cards inside of here. That's just a white card. Oh my God, this is awful. Well, mind you, you know, I don't have any of these these cards here. If I take, say, let me take one of the Black Lotuses from before and just compare the color. You know, maybe it's not that awful. I mean, really and truly, yeah, there's no there's no downing the proc that these are proxies. Though. I mean, again, the, 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 the quality of the cardboard is shoddy at best. But I want to see if there's maybe a, a moat. Oh, Chaos Orb. I haven't seen that card often. Bizarre Baghdad. I'd like to see if there's a moat in here or, uh, or another one of the cards that I... Oh, here we are. Okay, so we'll use this card. Library of Alexandria. Any others? Oh, here we are. Okay, moat too. Okay. Oh, this is awful. Look at that. That's terrible. Terrible. Okay, so... These three cards... Oh, wrong, sorry. This card here is the one that I just pulled out, Library of Alexandria. Let's look at the other two that I've got here. Yeah, you know what, it's even shinier. This version eight is even a little shinier than these ones are. But what about if I compare it, let me go back in here, did I put it away? No, oh, it's not in this series, is it? Is it here? Oh, here it is, okay. So, you know, the colors still are not quite there. The one on the right is still sort of a grayish, very similar to the other grayish one that we had had before, which is, I guess, this one, only a little lighter. But it's freaked out to hold these cards in your hand and know that this one is worth, I don't know, a couple of hundred dollars, and these ones are worth nothing. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> these are worth nothing. So that's all. I just wanted to go through them because it's, it freaks me out. To look at all of these cards that you have in front of you, none of them are are, uh, are playable. I mean, they're in casual, right? Proxies are are legal and casual, but none of this, you know, I could I could I could use anywhere. So I felt like giving it a tear, you know. So because there's always the infamous. Let me see if I take uh, this thriving ibex, and I'm sorry, thriving ibex. I'm going to do this. You know, we know that magic cards have the infamous blue core. Oh man, this did not uh, this did not do well. Let's see if I can tear this card open a little bit better than that. Hmm. The blue core is in all of the cards, right? Why am I having a feeling that I can't see it here? Yeah. I don't seem to be able to access the core here. Let's see what I can do here. Oop, sorry, I hit the camera. Yeah, it's as if the, this core, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see. Let me just bring it up a little closer here. Uh, I seem to be catching white white paper on top of the core here, but if you ever tear one of these sheets open, you can see it's dark, there it is. There it is. You see that? Can you see that, that there, there's blue right along the edges here? This is called the blue core, all here. There's an, an additional layer of blue inside of a magic cards that authenticates them. So haven't we always all wanted to do this? Let me just make a real cool tear right across the top here. Right like that. There you go. Now check it out. This one has a blue core too. It's not quite the same blue. I nearly feel like tearing another card. You know what? I'm going to grab myself. How about a knight here? Oh, you know, it's funny because this card really feels flimsy. It feels exactly like one of the proxies. Exactly. It's a Dominaria card. Mind you, maybe the... the uh, you know what? Instead of taking a knight, I'm going to go grab a land. Oh, even this land is... Anyway, let's see what happens if I tear it through the side here. Yeah, there you are. Okay, I kind of messed up before. Look at that. Look at the difference between the cores. You know, this this blue is, is darker, definitely. But even the proxies have blue cores on the inside of them. Anyway, 
that's all I wanted to show you. It's very, very, very cool to be able to go through these cards. It's still freaked out to, to, to tear up a card, even though we know it's not a good card. This is how good the proxies are getting. They still have to work out, work on their, on the varnish that they're using and on the quality of the paper. But to, to be honest, you know, if I grab, do I have another Dominaria card here? Yeah. If I grab a Dominaria card, holy crow. Let me grab, a, see if I can get something a little deeper in over here. These are all Dominarias, right? Yeah. Holy crow. The difference between the Dominaria card and the proxy is very, very, very light. Very light. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit more uh, digging in on this, but there you go. I just want to give you an example. Tearing up a, uh, a Black Lotus, and I guess this would have been... Uh, unlimited although you see even the even the the, the the second border is not very clear on this it wouldn't have been done very well that's it there you go so uh that's the proxy magic collection and um you know i don't suggest at all getting any of this stuff i would not have ordered any of it myself i thought it was interesting for one of my friends to pop over a while back uh, to give me this stuff um i expect maybe he was uh, he had received them some from somebody else from somebody else as well so uh, I will probably just get rid of these. I've had them for a long time and I'd always, I'd, I'd always had the intention of, of doing a quick video on it. But there you go. You've got what, a half a million dollars of, uh, of uh, proxy cards right in front of you. Have a great day, guys.